up in YouTube. I'm back with another video. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So happy you came. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on my post notifications because this channel is still fairly new and it will get shadow banned. So in order to keep up with my content, subscribe and post notifications. So today I'm just gonna be giving y'all this is a get to know me tag. So it's a quick little q and A. I I had to write my questions down on a piece of paper because I'm filming from my cell phone. Hopefully this gives y'all a little bit more insight on who you're dealing with. But anyways, not gonna make this introduction long. Let's get right into it. No! No! Question one, what is your name? My name is Sierra Nakia. Nunnery. Okay. How old are you? I am 21. My birthday is April 16th, 2002. Where are you from and are you proud? I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. And yes, I am very proud to be from New Orleans. I feel like this is one of the most cultured cities in the United States. And I just love it. I love my city. I love my city. I love my city. Even though I hate it sometimes because, you know, niggas. What is your go-to hairstyle? Ponytails. Ponytails, ponytails, ponytails. I love ponytails. Ponytails are just so simple. You just slick your hair down and apply. Slick and apply, whether it's a braid, whether it's some bundles, just make sure your front presentation is good and then just apply. It's real quick, real easy. What are your favorite colors? My favorite colors are this shade of Cosmo and this shade of wonder rate your childhood on a scale from one to ten i'm gonna give mine a good four because yes i am my only child but my parent was abusive so i didn't really get the glorifications and the fun side of only childness what is your favorite book my favorite book is miss peregrine's home for peculiar children because i love magical stuff what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie would have to be Fantastic Beasts. Animals and magic. <sighs> Creatures and magic. <sighs> Cuteness and magic. <sighs> what is your favorite show? My favorite show is Once Upon a Time. Just a whole bunch of magic. Just, just, just magic. <laughs> what is your relationship status? I'm single and pro-child free. Who is your favorite Disney princess? My favorite Disney princess is would have to be Miss Tiana herself. I just relate to her in so many, so many different ways. We both from New Orleans. We both work for everything that we have. We got real big dreams, life goals, and everything. Have a great relationship with our father. I stay with my dad right now, and he cooks. Our neighbors come line up on our porch with his food too, especially when he grilling. So, what is your life goal? My, my biggest life goal would be to become an esthetician and start a beauty salon. I dream of a place where women could just come and enjoy themselves, a safe space for women to just chill, have spa day. You got the lash tech over here in this booth, the hairstylist in this booth, the esthetician in this booth, and the thing specials for pregnant women. I just really, really dream of making women happy. If you could relive a moment from your life, what would it be? We did the confidence course, right? And one specific obstacle, one specific obstacle was everybody's biggest challenge. And no, not everybody's biggest challenge, but like it was the funniest one to me because once I got off of it, I was in line for other obstacles, but I still got to see how everybody else was doing. And I just could not stop laughing. Imagine trying to cross a balance beam that's feet, feet in the air. I'm talking feet, feet. And then you have a drill sergeant right here screaming at you. If I could go back to the confidence court, I would. That was just, that was probably one of the most funnest, funniest moments I ever had. What is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve would have to be energy vampires. I cannot stand energy vampires. That leads me on to the next question. What about people annoy you? 
energy vampires. Just let me give y'all a little story time. Just a look. That my first job was Taco Bell, right? And I was a front end cashier. It was time for me to go on my lunch. So I sit down, I start eating my food. They get really, really busy. Eight minutes into, you know, a manager asked me, hey, Seattle, we really need help. Do you mind, you know, taking a shorter lunch for us? And I said, no, that's fine. I'll come back early. You know, I'm going to just finish my food and then I'm going to come on back. So I'm getting ready to go throw my stuff away. And then one of the cashiers that works the window, she comes behind the counter and shouts into the lobby where I'm sitting at. You're supposed to be coming back early from your break, right? Because we need your help. All this attitude for what? I told myself, I'm like, okay, don't feed into that. You know, like, she just mad because they pissing her off in the window. I, I get it. Like, it's fast food. I get it. So I throw my stuff away. I clock back in early. Picture while I'm at the, I'm at the front end register, and I could just feel her staring at me from across the kitchen. And sure enough, she's in the corner staring at me, mugging me. So this is where the vampire starts to play, take place when I say I don't like energy vampires. How about this? Let's just talk from a narcissistic point of view. Giving themselves a reason to mess with you so that you could react and then they could do something that they have been wanting to do. Or some love and hip hop scene they made up in their head that they trying to have with you right now. Like how about I don't give a fuck? I see that she's mugging me. Now the next thing I would have to do would be able to acknowledge the fact that she's standing up here mugging me right now. Turn my head and look and make eye contact with her so that she could get her cue Let me take it a step further. That could have been you deciding to talk stupid to me the rest of the day, have an attitude with me the rest of the day or anything like that. But first, I got to acknowledge the fact that you standing up here looking pissy. Like that's, that's that fucking with people's aura shit that I don't like. Y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? That I was like, and then I'd be eventually staring back at it. And now we was just sitting there having a whole fucking staring contest until her next person came in her ear and she had to turn and pay attention to the shit. Cause how you mad at me that I didn't rush fast enough for you? You can't make this shit up. Talk about an embarrassing moment. Okay, an embarrassing moment I had. I was in middle school, right? My, I've been petite and skinny my whole life. So, you know, people used to make fun of me. Oh, can you, you eating at home? Can can I take you out and all this weird ass? I, I never really did fit in. I was, you know, kind of an outcast in middle school. But we were practicing eighth grade graduation ceremonies. I'm sitting next to my friend Sage because, you know, we are in alphabetical order and my last name starts with an N and then hers starts with an O. So we was right next to each other. I love you, Sage, if you're watching this. So in the middle of the ceremony, administration goes, y'all can take a little break, you know, chit chat with each other. Whenever the break is over, y'all need to get back in y'all assigned seats, back in alphabetical order. Somebody comes from their side, from the auditorium, and then they come on our side and they start talking to Sage. I'm just sitting there, you know, I'm minding my business. I'm waiting on them to finish their conversation so I can finish talking to my friend, right? So in the midst of the conversation, he stops. And he goes, I'm sorry, but I feel like I really just need to tell you this. I was like, huh? And then he was like, I really feel like you need to know that you fucking ugly. You sitting up here and you think you cute and everything and you ain't all that. You you ugly. People start turning around in their seats. People trying to peek over other people's heads to see who he's talking about, who's the ugly duckling. And I'm just sitting there like... I don't know what to say. Who is your all-time favorite author? The woman who wrote the Junie B. Jones books. I can't remember her name right now and my phone is being used to record this video. If you don't know who Junie B. Jones is, child, that's my Q&A. I hope y'all learned a lot about me. That concludes this Get to Know Me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Anything y'all can relate to from this video, talk about it in the comment section. I will most definitely respond. I would love to interact with y'all. Turn on my post notifications so you can keep up with the content and let me know some more video ideas y'all have. Just go to one of my social handles. I'll put them right here. DM me or message me. And for this video, y'all, see y'all later.